Welcome back to Childhood Thoughts. I am the narrator. And this time I'm going to talk about the character of Amy Peterson. And I am going to also maybe talk about also the ending of Fright Night 2011. I might just put Amy slash the ending of Fright Night 2011 because I've done this a few times talking about endings of of movies I I, I enjoy. Uh, So from the video before, um, there's a video where you know, this guy talks about, uh, you know, the se- this movie being very sentimental to him and also being one of the movies, you know, one of the remakes he finds a bit underrated. And I agree with him. Why I like this ending... In a way, it's similar to the original, to the original 1985 classic, where they embrace in bed. To me, what I find pretty cool is when you look at Amy, it is... It's as if she is still a vampire. I wish they could have done something where turns to vampire and they still embrace. I I just find that, um, you know, a a very, uh, in my opinion, a pretty cool and pretty detailed ending. Who knows, they probably kind of, maybe Greg Gillespie um, kind of kind of wanted that. Maybe Steven Spielberg were talking to them about that. Cause rumor has it Steven Spielberg has done some storyboard um, ideas with, with the people, but that's Wikipedia, so who knows. And, you know, in my opinion, that would have been pretty cool. And, and my, I have a theory that she might still be a vampire and that might be that and but it's Imogen Poots and I I think Imogen Poots is such a talented actress and not just because she is just out of this world uh drop dead gorgeous but just through everything she's she has done in the film and everything from this and and it's better off if she did become a vampire and kind of have that happen because you know come on the ending with them just do it and like him at, at first I'm like really really Anton and then going to it I have a theory that she might kind of still have a little Jerry's blood in her my own little opinion. But, you know, the movie is, to me, again, to me, it's a very, you know, overlooked. It has its, you know, I, I can't stand the word flaw, but it has its moments where I'm just, you know, uh, a lot of it's got to do with certain people I might, I, I don't want to say, because, you know, they're, they, they work hard at what they're doing, but, um, you know, to me, I, I've always found this ending a, a bit underrated, and I, you know, again, my own little theories in there, and another, it's a fan theory, so that's that.